Hi, it's me again, Nadej Cezana, or Nan, your cravings coach. If you're a coach and if you struggle with stress eating and you really want to be finally in control around food, I'm here for you. Today, we're going to explore that minute, that moment, that instant, when your partner, your roommate, your parents close the door and all of a sudden you rush to the kitchen, to the pantry and you grab food to eat. And we're going to see how you can stop doing this, change the habit so that you can feel so much better. Let's see how. So when you manage to actually stop overeating, whenever your parents, roommate, partner, whoever you live with, close the door, walks away, goes away. When you stop overeating, when they're not here, there's so many benefits for you. First of all, imagine the emotional well-being that you're going to benefit from if you no longer rush to the kitchen, rush to the food when they're not there. You will learn how to feel whatever you're experiencing, whether it's stress or boredom or loneliness, on a very different level. Instead of overeating, you will stop relying on food for emotional comfort and you'll create healthier habits. And by that, I mean, you'll change the way you feed yourself, but also the way you treat yourself whenever you're experiencing that emotion, whatever that is, it could be boredom, loneliness, stress, right? That's the first thing. You're going to be uh, learning new emotional habits. You're going to be in that state of emotional well-being. That's the first benefit. The second benefit is building self-control. Well, when we learn this ability to resist immediate gratification, immediate temptation, then you learn this very valuable skill that you're going to then be able to apply to very different areas, not just your eating habits. You're going to strengthen your self-control and your self-discipline so I'm curious, in what other areas would you benefit tremendously from being self-controlled, from being in that state of self-discipline? That's the second bonus, right, of not rushing to the kitchen or the pantry or whatever when somebody's left the, the house. And the third benefit, obviously, because we're talking about food, is to maintain a healthy diet. If you stop consuming as many calories, then perhaps, probably, you won't experience weight gain, but most likely you'll manage your weight or you'll reduce your weight, however you want to do it. And you'll be then healthier, more energetic because you'll benefit from that more balanced diet. Are you in? <laughs> do you want to experience this or those benefits? Let's see how you can do that. So let's picture that scene this other person you share your home with or the other people you share your home with have just left the building, they've left the house, the home, the flat, whatever. And let's picture that moment when you hear the door close behind them. I remember very vividly when I used to hear my parents leave the house thinking, ah, I'm finally free to do whatever I want. It was the very same thing when, not so long ago, but actually years ago, I would hear my husband leave the house to go and exercise. I would have the very same thought. I'm finally free to do whatever I want. And when I was thinking that thought immediately, I felt this, sur this first surge of excitement rushing through my body. When I felt that very vivid emotion of excitement, I would immediately drop whatever I was doing, smile to myself, rush to the kitchen, eat whatever I wanted, probably chocolate or cake. And I was not thinking at all of the consequences. I was so focused on the present moment that everything else seemed to fade away. And as a result, when I was in that model, where I was just focusing on the food and overeating in the moment, I was actually preventing myself from breaking free from overeating. What's really inter interesting is that when I was in that model, in that space of thinking I'm finally free to do whatever I want, 
this is why I was actually preventing myself from breaking free of that pattern, of that ha habit, of that cycle of overeating whenever my parents were, and then my husband were leaving the house, right? But it had nothing to do actually with their being here or not. Sometimes I was mistaken. I thought I heard the, the door close behind them, but actually they had gone back. I was mistaken. So it's not really their presence or their absence that was leading me to the kitchen. It was really that thought that I was having. I'm finally free to do whatever I want. I was creating an emotion in my mind, in my body too, that was urging me to rush to the kitchen, to rush to the peanuts when it was my parents or to rush to the chocolate and the cake when it was with my husband. It was really this thought, this belief that I'm finally free to do whatever I want. So what to do when you notice that you're also having this thought, I'm finally free to do whatever I want. Well, as always, once we've noticed the thought that's going, you know, crossing our brain, that's the first step, noticing, then what we can do is question that thought. And then what we'll do is decide make a different decision if we want to. We don't have to, but it's always an option, so why not explore it? So here are three questions you might want to answer for yourself when you notice yourself thinking, oh, I'm finally free to do whatever I want. The first one is, if I'm feeling free when I'm alone, then what am I feeling when I'm not alone? When my parents, roommate, partner, whoever it is, is here, what is this emotion that I'm feeling that's preventing me from feeling free? First question, okay? The second question is also a very interesting one. It's why am I feeling this way when I'm not alone? Whatever emotion you found for the very first question, what feeling am I feeling when I'm not alone? Then you can explore deeper on a deeper level, level and ask yourself, well, what, why am I feeling this way when I'm not alone? Sometimes my clients say they're feeling trapped or they're feeling judged. So that could be an answer for you. It could be completely different it's for you to find out. And I can help you find out, of course, if you want to. And then you can ask yourself, why am I feeling this way? And really, usually you're going to find one sentence or several sentences to answer that second question. Why am I feeling this way when I'm not alone? Well, they're going to think I'm a, a binge eater and there's a, I'm a freak. There's something wrong with me, right? Could be things like that. We don't know yet, but you're going to find out. And the third question you could be asking yourself could be what's true in those sentences, right? I want you to really explore those sentences. And I really want you to write them down, to write those answers down so that then you can really explore and I can help you do that if you really want to. If you're afraid of exploring that, I know I was terrified of going there alone. So if you need me, I'm here for you. Don't hesitate. But then what's really interesting is to explore what's true in those sentences because your brain is one meaning, but very often it's lying to you. It's pretending, see, those people are going to think you're a freak. I used to think of that of, for, for myself. Well, I never knew because I never asked them, but in my head it was feeling very, very true, very believable. But maybe it wasn't at all. I was really believing that story, it was not true. So I'm inviting you really to really dissect the sentences and see what's true, what's not. And then once you've questioned that thought using those three questions, you can decide again, do I want to believe that I'm feeling free to do whatever I want. Or next time this happens, next time they leave the house, do you want to try a new thought just to see, just as an exploration, just as an adventure, just as a game maybe, why not? Here are three sentences that you could be choosing to think instead. Again, no imposition, it's just a game, it's just an experimentation, it's for you to try. Just to notice that something else, another option could be possible. So here's the first thought. I've got a sentence in my brain. I'm finally free to do whatever I want. That's it. Keep it very neutral, very plain. Just, I've got a sentence in my brain. I'm finally free to do whatever I want. That's it. The second thought, the second sentence you could consider 
is right now, I'm choosing to use my freedom to overeat. And that's okay. I'm not alone and nothing's gone wrong. There are so many people that I've coached who experience exactly the same thing. I told you, I've experienced it for myself, right? You're not alone, it's normal. The only thing is that we don't talk about it very often. So that's why we think we're alone, but it's not true. I guarantee you, okay? The third, the third thought you might consider thinking instead of, oh, I'm finally free to do whatever I want, could be, I'm learning to feel free whenever I want and to do whatever I want, including eating, if, it, if that feels satisfying. So it's, the idea is really to give you the permission to do whatever you want, to feel whatever you want. You can feel free, you can feel excited. You can also choose to feel the boredom, the stress, the loneliness. I can help you with that too, right? And you can do whatever you want, whether your friends, partner, roommate, whoever they are, are here or not. You can allow yourself to experience whatever you want. And again, as I said, I'm here to help you. It would be an honor and a privilege if you want me to. Do you want to experience more freedom around food? I can help you. All you need to do is book your consult, a free stress eating strategy call by clicking on the link below. And together we'll explore the many possibilities of what food freedom would look like for you, right? And we'll also explore how you can make this dream come true how you can, it can become your new reality, because yes, it is possible for you too. I wasn't sure it was possible for me for years, and yet here I am, being free. So you can do it too, and I can show you how. All you need to do is take that first step, book your free consult, your stress eating strategy call by clicking on the link below. I wish you a beautiful rest of your day. Take care. Bye-bye.